can't read lines. You can't tell me your colors are black. First, we have to go to the store and buy a black pool. First, you shall visit the PPC aisle. Get a half or three fourth inch ten foot pole. Find someone to cut the pole. What do you say? Look at that. Check out my flag poles. Buy two lens caps for your pole. Next, have your mom make the flag. So Masmus's flag is half the size of his flag pole, and so you'll see a full size flag compared to how I cut his flag. I don't sew, so this is what I use to make straight edges on his flag. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is flip the flag over to the back side because as you fix the edges for the flag, you're going to need to make sure you're on the back side and not the front side. Then I'm going to get my hem tape and I'm going to measure it the length of the flag, but don't do like I did and put the tape over the part where the opening where the pole goes in. Just put the tape from the edge of it to right before the opening um, of the hole. Make sure your iron is on a low setting. I usually put it on a one or a two. For the first step, we're just gonna iron this edge down. So you're just gonna hold it on each section of the tape for just about two seconds, not long at all. You just go all the way down and it's okay if you have extra fabric sticking out of it because on the next step, we actually are going to get our scissors and cut off the edge. That's actually what I love about this tape is it helps me make a straight edge even if I don't cut um, my fabric straight the first time that I cut it. And just like that, now we have a straight edge for our flag. Voila! So the next thing we're going to do is take the backing off of the hem tape that we've already put on our flag and you're literally just peeling it from one end to the other. Um, sometimes the hardest part about it is just getting stuck or sometimes these little pieces will get caught and you just pick them all off. It's not a big deal and you're done. So the next thing we're going to do is actually iron this edge down. So you fold it over. You can see the difference between where the hem tape is and where it's not. And you just fold it right over and you hold it on each section for about five to eight seconds. It's not long at all. The one thing you want to make sure you do though is you see where my black edge, um, how it lined up with the black edge. So as you are holding it in place, just make sure you try to match your colors as much as possible. If not, it's not that big of a deal but just really check the edges on both sides to make sure the edges are sticking down because that's probably the most important part of the flag. Check it out. See how nice these edges look? And I can't sew, so I think it's pretty fabulous. All you're going to do next is literally just repeat the exact same steps on your other side. Um, because this was an already made professional color guard flag, two of my sides are actually already sewed down. So I really just needed only cut two sides of this flag. So if you're just using some fabric that you bought from the fabric store, which I've done plenty of times, you would um, be taping down four sides instead of two sides. But it's pretty easy to do once you get the hang of it. So next we are going to cut off the excess fabric that is sticking out and then we are going to peel the backing of the tape all the way down. Sometimes you get some stubborn pieces and that is a-okay. Then after that you get it all the way off. You're going to fold it over and you're going to try to match the sides. Guess what? It might not match and that is a-okay. It doesn't really matter. What does matter though is that you get that little corner and you make sure you iron that all the way down. If it sticks up, hold that little sucker down and do not let it stick back up. All the other sections you just hold down for about five to eight seconds. And you're gonna go all the way down. 
and then you are done. Don't let those stubborn edges beat you at your own game. Hold that sucker down and make sure it stays down. So as you can see here, these are the two edges of the flag that I um, had to make straight edges. And when I flip it over to the front side, it is a marvelous flag. Look at how beautiful it is. The flag we brought had this on it, so I'm just cutting it off. All right, so next we are going to put the flag into the flagpole. And do not do like I did and accidentally tape together the other opening of your flagpole. Because right now I'm having to just cut a little opening back into where I had taped it down so that the flagpole actually fits through it. We fix it, not a problem. But if you're doing one for yourself, try not to do that. After that, you're going to get the two end caps that you bought at the store and place one at one end. And then you are going to place one of the other caps at the other end. Easy peasy. One of your best friends for making flags will be electrical tape. I usually get the white because it blends with the pole. And the first thing I like to do is to wrap the caps, um, tape down the caps of the flagpole. And I usually do this with eight different strips and I have to make the tape long enough that it fits over the cap and a little bit onto the actual pole. So the first two strips, I do them in a cross section and then the additional two strips I'm gonna to do to fill in. You'll notice there's still some space where you can see the cap and I'm just gonna take a strip over each of those um, spaces, I guess those gaps to um, tape it all the way down so you can't see the cap. And if you can see the cap, guess what? It doesn't matter because your cap is white and your pole is white. It just gives your cap a little bit of cushion as your child drops the flag on the floor or other random places, which we have learned the hard way. Um, after I get all of those eight strips around the cap, let me finish this last one, I'm going to go and I'm going to add a layer of tape around the base of the cap to hold all of those pieces of tape in place. You can add as much tape as you want to the bottom. It's not scientific. Next, you repeat the exact same thing on the other cap at the other side of your pole. You first take your first two strips and you cross them over each other. Then you're going to look for the different gaps in the tape and you're going to put one strip of tape on that side. And you're going to tape it down and then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to find one more little gap somewhere on the other side of that little cap and you're going to tape it down and then you're going to wrap it around the bottom. Just hold everything in place. Some people like to tape their whole flag pole. That's up to you. I just like to do the two ends of it. The last step to making a super wonderful little flag for your little child is to tape the flag onto the flagpole. So I just hold the flag toward the top of the pole and I just start with a little bit of the edge and I'm just taping around and around and around and around to hold it in place. So once I get that end, I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom of the flag. You're just going to get some tape and you'll see how much I how much fabric I'm holding down it's not a lot but it's a decent amount and you're just going to wrap it around and around and you can see on my flag how there's that little bitty triangle sticking out that little piece of tape I'm actually going to cut it 
once I wrap it around because it actually bugged me. But you see, you're just holding it enough in place to wrap the fab fabric around the flag. Now we're done. We're done, we're done, we're done. We got a flag. Our kids will be happy forever. Look, we have a flag. Thanks, Mom.